Good morning, friends. It is so exciting to be with you at Vacation Bible School. I'm Beth. And I'm Robin. And we're thrilled to be with you this week for Bible School. It's all online, and so you get to watch some videos of people doing fun stuff, and, and you get to do some really cool activities. You have a bag with everything you'll need for the week. But we're excited to be with you. Get ready to move and to sing with Linnea. It's going to be a wonderful time as we share together. Let's start with singing. Hey guys, welcome to Renew Vacation Bible School. My name is Linnea and I'm going to be teaching you songs and dances all week long. Do you like to dance? I sure do. This first song is called Head, Hands, and Heart. It's super easy. I'm going to teach you a few lyrics and then we are going to get started and sing together. It starts with head hands and heart. So put your hands on your head, clasp them together, and then put them over your heart. Then we're going to make the motion for start. Put your hand out like this and turn the back of your hand to face the front, just like that. Like you're kind of starting the ignition on a car. One, two, just like that. And then you're going to choose an instrument to play. It can be an air guitar or the drums. You can play a saxophone or a flute, whatever you want to play. And then we're going to make the sign for harmony. So put your hand out like this and then wave back and forth, kind of like you're a conductor. Pretty simple stuff, right? I think we got it. Let's get started. Head, hands, and heart. That's where it starts. They all play a part in harmony. Full of thoughts of what God has taught. It's time to share what I have got. Head, hands, and heart. My hands will do the work. I'm gonna dig in the dirt. The God's grow green, green earth. Head, hands, and heart. Head, hands, and heart. That's where it starts. They all play a part in harmony. My heart is full of love. It's what we are all made of. It's a gift from God above. Head, hands and heart harmony for you and me for everyone see to see it's the only way to be head hands and heart head hands and heart Head, hands, and heart. Head, hands, and heart. That was a lot of fun. I'm tired now. It was a great time, but there's more to come. Now it's time to settle in, get quiet, because it's time to listen to Miss Deb as she tells a story. Kids, are you ready to continue gardening with God today? It's time for our Bible story. And our story comes from the book of Mark. And it's the parable of the sower who went out to sow. Now, I bet you're wondering, what is a sower? Well, a sower is just a farmer. Go out to sow just means he went to plant some seeds. <laughs> so I guess our story is about a farmer who planted a garden. Jesus 
began to teach them beside the sea. Such a large crowd gathered that around him that he got into a boat on the lake and sat there while the people were beside the lake on the land. Now he began to teach them many things in parables and in his teaching he said to them, listen, a sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some of the seeds fell on the hard path. And the birds came and ate the seeds all up. Some of the seeds fell rocky ground. The little seeds began to grow, but they could not put their roots down very far. And when the sun came up, the little seeds dried up and withered away. Some of the seeds fell among thorns. When the little seeds put down their roots, they grew up quickly but the thorns grew faster and choked them all away. Now, some of the seeds fell on good soil and they grew and they grew and they grew and they grew. And when harvest time came, they produced 30, 60, 100 bushels of grain. I wonder, I wonder who the sower was. I wonder who the seeds are. I wonder how the seeds felt as they grew and grew and grew and produced so much grain. I wonder how the people, what the people thought about Jesus' story. I wonder, can you draw a picture of this story this week and maybe share it with someone? And I wonder, if you'll come back tomorrow, wonder with me about the seed and the sower again. Before we, we get into all of our fun activities, let's pray a prayer together. Let's do a neato repeat prayer. I'll say a line and you say it back. Are you ready? Let's pray. Gardening God. Gardening God. We plant. We plant. We grow. We grow. We share with others. We share with others. Amen. Amen. Amen.